Welcome to the Terrible Take, a mini podcast telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Josh Carney. Speculation season can often be silly. In the latest speculation, I'm calling it that loosely, regarding Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver Deontay Johnson, is again further proof of that. If you somehow missed it, following the acquisition of veteran wide receiver Allen Robinson via trade from the Los Angeles Rams in a 7th round pick swap, In next week's NFL Draft, speculation started swirling from local and national media that the move for the veteran Robinson could somehow clear the way for a Deontay Johnson trade, saving the Steelers money this season and next season. What a ridiculous thought process. The Steelers acquired Robinson relatively cheap to shore up depth in Pittsburgh. Not to plan for a future move involving their number one receiver, who is pretty darn good in his own right. Robinson's acquisition allows the Steelers to move the trio of Johnson, George Pickens, and Robinson all over the formation to hunt for the best matchups and take some of the onus off of Johnson and Pickens in a relatively weak wide receiver room. This constant push to try and trade Deontay Johnson away is rather tiresome. It's never going to stop, though. I get it. He tends to run backwards after the catch at times, struggles with drops occasionally, and didn't score a single touchdown last season. Those are all fair criticisms of Johnson. But we've been spoiled with a number one receiver in the last 20 years with the likes of Heinz Ward and Antonio Brown. Johnson isn't on the same level as those two. But really, not many will ever be on the level Antonio Brown was at the height of his powers. He's an all-time great, one of the five best receivers ever. Johnson is a really good player overall, one that's a fixture for Pittsburgh moving forward. He might not be that true elite number one that we are so used to seeing, but he's a number one for Pittsburgh. Stop trying to push him off the roster and create more issues for a team that already plugged so many holes in an aggressive offseason. A trade of Johnson would negatively impact quarterback Kenny Pickett too. And that should never, and will never be, the goal of Omar Khan and company. So stop with the silly speculation. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every weekday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out the Terrible Podcast with Alex Kazora and Dave Bryan every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.